Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I am the Emperor of the Universe. Sorry. I loved college. It was an amazing experience. Three and a half years. <sighs> and just to be an artist. Yeah. Journalism was a bust. I'm sorry about that. But the important thing is I became an awesome person and I love myself and I'm happy with who I become. And yeah. And I'm excited about the world and what's going to happen in the future. And I just don't understand who these assholes are in charge. They don't belong in charge. And you're better than that and I'm better than that. <sighs> what are we going to do, right? Are we going to be better people? Are we going to focus on ourselves? Are we going to let the assholes in the world run everything? And just, I just, I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Nothing going on in our country makes sense to me. As far as logically. For example, if I was an alien and I came down to this planet, okay, and I started living amongst human beings, and then I under, and then I studied the the hierarchy, the political elite, the fashion elite, the, the entertainment elite, <clears throat> and then I saw how they treated the the people of the world, the the peasants or whatever. And then I heard about reptilian theory. I would say, okay, that makes sense. Because right now I see humans destroying each other and purposely, you know, it's like a certain group of humans leading another certain, basically the majority of humans to their own destruction. And they're going along with it with smiles and, and handshakes and yay and thumbs up. But the reptilian, if I was an alien come down and I heard about reptilians, I'd be like, okay, that makes sense. Because reptilians by nature are the enemy of humans. And so if the reptilians were somehow in control of humans, that's genius. I mean, as far as like militarily and, you know, strategically, if you wanted to wipe out your enemy, not only do you control them, but you get them to go along with their own demise. Genius. You ever seen those videos where they have the people that are, you think that they're some, a, an actor or actress or whatever, and then they pull it off and, there's somebody else, and they're like, oh, it's a deep fake, or whatever the hell they call it, right? See, you ever seen those videos? They're out there. And they pull off the mask, and you're looking at them, and it's them. And they pull off the mask, and there's somebody else. And you're like, huh, why did they do that? Special effects, really amazing, right? If you're a lizard, and you want to, I don't know, walk around like a human, apparently you can just put on a human skin and be like, yay, FX. Go around being, I don't know, a politician. Because that makes sense too. Is like maybe these politicians, these people, these entertainment people, they get super fucking famous and they're no longer talented like Madonna. And then all of a sudden they get wiped out and killed and they replace them with the reptilian and their reptilian just goes all kinds of crazy shit. Think about it. She looks really weird, by the way. Have you seen pictures? Oh my God, that looks fucking. She looks like a reptilian wearing her fucking skin. Anyway, yeah, think about it. But it makes a sense with a lot of these fucking, because they all go along with the Bono, they're all li lizards. They all, they all go along with this, you know, depopulization and, and they're fucking people up and they're horrible. And what's up with this fucking formula, baby formula shortage? I mean, this is just weirder than shit, man, right? All of a sudden we have a baby formula. We'll unshortage it. Government? What the fuck is the problem? I don't understand that. Shutting down, I don't know. I heard they just shut down a formula plant. Why would you shut down a formula plant when you have a shortage? Like I said... It makes sense that these guys are all reptilians. And if they were humans, they wiped them out and they're wearing their skin. Makes total sense. Because these people do not make sense in the caring and compassionate and wonderful way that normal people tend to, you know, gravitate towards. And what the hell are Democrats all pushing for war, man? I, I thought Democrats used to be the, we're the party of peace and love, man. Uh, and, they, and here's another thing I just realized the other day. I was thinking, what the fuck are women doing in combat? Okay, first of all, Democrats used to hate war, period. Let alone sending women off to get killed. It's like, that makes no fucking sense on top of this shit, right? You're a feminist, you're not going to go die. You're a goddess, man. You want people to fucking worship you. You're a goddess, uh, empress, is a nurturer. That energy, the divine feminine, is a nurturing energy. There's not, there's not a mean bone in their body. They're, they're like, they will suckle anybody. Use that. But they're, they're nurturers. That's all they do is they care and love of everybody. 
So what the fuck are they doing trying to go to war and telling women that yeah, we can have women go to war? If you're butch enough, fine. If you hate enough, fine. But why are we going to war? Why we gotta even do work on war? No, let's work on space. Work on science. Work on medicines that actually grow from the earth and can cure shit without having to use chemicals. I don't know. Let's work on some stuff that makes humanity better. Better baby formula instead of less of it. But then again, it's weird how all of a sudden you got a shortage of baby formula. You know, all of a sudden they're pushing abortion more now than ever because, you know, you're just having too many babies and if you can't feed them the formula, just get rid of them, fuckers. I'm telling you, whew, this was another rant, but it's like, like I said, God's going to use me. I'm going to speak it. I'm going to speak my power. And there's some crazy, stupid shit. And if I was an alien coming down and I knew about humans and, and reptilians and the reptilians took over, make total sense. Then yeah, the destruction of America is important. For the reptilians. And here's another thing. How come Russia still celebrates their victory over the Nazis and we don't? How come America doesn't celebrate the V-Day anymore? Victory over the fucking Nazis. Woo! We kick their asses. They were fucking white supremacist scumbags. And we beat their asses. Or did we? Did we beat them or did they jo we join the ranks? Maybe we took a bunch of their officers into our ranks and they kind of eventually took over who knows the cia who knows oh it's fun stuff i'm just like i said if i was an alien coming down the reptilian thing would make a lot of sense and that's my rant for today they're all reptilians it's got to be these fuckers don't make any sense okay love you i love you god loves you and the universe is crazy about you not so much the lizard dudes but anyway zuckerberg he makes sense little reptile anyway love you bye